What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel, and we are back with another Masterful Stars. Masterful Stars, lads. What a name we have for this nominating contract. We've already covered Marquinhos, who is an absolute monster, and now we are taking a look at Liverpool. My rival team, obviously being a United supporter, uh, Fabinho, right? Now, Fabinho, lads, is an absolute monster. I have already used my five-star nominating contract to get Marquinhos because he it was so good. I couldn't leave him behind, even though I've got some really good, solid um, centre-backs. I do have Makalele, I have Vieira, I have Declan Rice. I have a lot of solid DMF, so I couldn't really... Yeah, I couldn't really like justify getting this DMF uh, version of Fabinho or this version of DMF Fabinho, I should say, lads, and getting tongue-tied. But he is a monster, right? Now, as ever, we will take a look at everything this card has to offer and give you a quick training guide of it. One-touch pass, excellent. Interception, sliding tackle, and fighting spirit are insane for this card. He doesn't have blocker, but of course, we can always give that to him now with the additional skills. And then, of course, we have the rising shot. One-touch pass is huge for this card if we're going to be playing him as a centre-back. Even if we are playing him as a, as a DMF, it will come in uh, to fruition quite good, and it will bring a lot to this card and you look at his graph there. He's got a very solid defensive graph without even looking um, to train him up here. Like just his base core card, right? He's tall, he's strong, he's physical. He's actually quicker than he looks stat-wise. He gets and covers a lot of ground. And he's a very difficult player to play against. I've played against this version of Fabinho three or four times now in divisions. And he is a bit of a menace in the middle of the pitch. He's not like, I don't think that the ultimate tier. Um, I don't think he's the ultimate tier version of the DMFs there, like Casemiro on that, but he does have everything going for him, right? So we are over on eFootball DB, and we're first going to take a look at a centre-back version of Fabinho, right? So you're going to have Dexterity 8, Area Strength 8, and Defending 14. We're going to leave a bit of room that if he is on a good player form arrow, we will get another extra two or three points to this. But this is going to be a centre-back that is tall, is strong, is physical, he is an anchorman as a centre back, so that's not really going to come into it too much uh, with the play style. But this guy has got pretty much like stats for defence on par with every other good centre back in the game. And he's like in the top 5% of centre back stat wise, right? He also has interception and he also has um, low pass dribbling and tight possession. That means you'll be able to play a little ball with it, a bit of ball with him. But he has 70 acceleration and 82. Uh, stamina with 83 physical contact which is insane for this card again this is what we're always looking for when we are looking for center backs is to have that little bit of acceleration that can kick into high gear when you are uh, you know tracking back or whatever and you don't need it much more than 70 especially if you've got a really fast versatile player beside you now we did talk about Marquinhos being an all uh, an identical card to the Brazilian version of Marquinhos a couple of um, months ago that they released but this Fabinho card is actually a lot worse um this card as you see here this uh, Brazilian card has got plus eight and plus six on acceleration um, and he just has minus four on tight possession dribbling and low pass so this Brazil version of him this is why I didn't really go for him this Brazilian version of him is much better in my opinion this is the standard version so you've got 66 speed 62 acceleration and this version of him has got 74 speed 68 acceleration so that is a bit of a concern if you are looking to play him DMF which is why I definitely do recommend a CB build on this guy unless you have got like Marquinhos or else top class center backs this guy is in saying now if you want to play him dmf we're going to make a couple of changes obviously to passing dribbling dexterity and defending we're going to just have them fairly even keel across the whole way if you are a big passer and you like to have your anchorman like tenali or somebody that can you know run forward with the ball i definitely do recommend not to um you know we could we could obviously take away the dribbling a little bit once the tight possession is up at 80 I'm not really too concerned because we're not going to be dribbling the length of the pitch with him and we could pump that in then if we wanted to. We could actually put two more into defending if we wanted a really solid version of him or we could leave that as is and pump it into passing to bring it up to 85. So there's a lot of variety with this guy if you wanted to do that um, with the passing at 85. Even if you didn't want to do that, if you wanted to be carrying the ball forward a lot more, you could you know put three, three more into dexterity. But I do definitely think that the passing at 85 would be huge for a DMF, DMF 
like this of Fabinho, especially with the player skills that he has, especially with the fact that you could add blocker to this card. I do think a CB version of him is insane because you have a CB that has got ridiculously good defensive stats all in the 90s as we see here but you've also got really good dribbling ball control low pass and acceleration for a center back so that is the version i would go with him whether he's better at McQueen, marquinhos that is up to you but anyway lads that is it for me with another training guide i'll be back quite soon until next time peace